Okay, if we could start, could you please say it, spell your names, and tell us who you are and what you do? Go ahead. Uh, my name is Austin Stiver, A U S T I N S T I V E R. Uh, I work for Arrive. We are a uh, fully mobile cloud point of service, as we like to say, uh, nice. for craft beverage. Uh, I work for the uh, product support team. I lead, I lead them and take care of all of those sorts of things. My name is Alex Osler, A-L-E-X-O-S-T-L-E-R. I'm the head of marketing at Arrived, uh, which means I, it doesn't really matter what I do. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Nicole Chamberlain, N-I-C-O-L-E-C-H-A-M-B-E-R-L-I-N, I think. Um, and I'm the director of sales for Arrived. Awesome. So <coughs> what are you all most excited about for the conference this year? Oh, Nicole, you've been talking this up. Since. I have I have been talking this up since Ooh. I left last year. I think North Carolina has one of the most dynamic, friendly, and unique craft cultures in the country. Um, everyone is happy to help each other, um, share advice, um, and quite frankly, to have customers from here means that your life is a very joyous one because they're just lovely people. So happy to come back, meet new faces, and also see old friends. So awesome. excited for the after after work happy hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that gets to our next question, which is, what's your favorite part of attending the North Carolina Craft Brewers Conference? Um, so far, well, this is actually my first. Oh. Um, it's been great getting to meet uh, all of the wonderful faces out there. Uh, I have my personal experience where I've interacted with a lot of them through the phone and email support, and to actually put a face to a name is, is super exciting and make it a much more personable experience. So, Yeah. Um, so I've been with Arrive for about six months, and for the entirety of those six months, Nicole and our president, Nancy, have been talking about how amazing the North Carolina Craft Brewers Conference is. So I'm just excited to be here and see it all in person and meet all these people in real life. And so far, it's been a joy. Very excited. I think the content, too, outside of the people, um, the content that they deliver is sort of a step above. Um, they're one of the only guilds that actually employs full full-time staff. Um, a lot of time they're volunteers, which I think just speaks to their commitment to delivering a conference that is, I don't want to say worthy of everyone's time, but certainly delivers tangible and executable things that we can go back and make our spaces better and stronger and our customer experience the same. So, Awesome. Um, what's your favorite part of being a member of the North Carolina Craft Brewers Guild? Um, obviously, Jasmine, Lisa, and Rich. Yeah. And, and anyone else that's lovely that supports them and is with them. So. <laughs> and what does the North Carolina Craft Brewers Guild mean to you or your business? It means everything to our business. Everything. So we grow through relationships, through um, working with really amazing craft brewers who have a great experience with us and with our point of sale, and then talk to other craft brewers. So to be able to be part of this guild um, full of members who are passionate about what they're doing and passionate about helping each other. And then to come to this conference where we're all in the same room and able to mm -hmm. share best practices, it's it, our business nearly doubles in North Carolina every time we're here. So it, it means everything. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, what is a memorable North Carolina Craft Brewers Guild event that you remember? Activity that you've been a part of? So, oh, man. So last year there were several, um, debatable on how memorable they were, not because they weren't a good time, but because they were such a good time. Um, I, I would honestly say, this sounds ridiculous, but just everyone being able to be at the expo together and just kind of shoot the shit and talk, I mean, that, that is where we all build relationships and where we all get to know each other. Yeah. I don't know if I can swear. I'm sorry. Yes, you can. Um, okay. <laughs> all right. Um, so I think that, that that sort of bonding time where we all can get to know each other on more of an individual basis than just, oh, you work at this brewery and you work <coughs> at this brewery is really, really the most memorable. So. So. It's my first time. I'm still experiencing it. You, Ditto. This is your most memorable. That's right. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> it's right now. That's right. Exactly. So this might be an early question, but what's your biggest takeaway so far from the conference? Being we're about an hour or two. Minutes. Everyone is so dang nice. I tell you, the Southern charm is 
prevalent amongst this group. And so coming in as a newbie to the craft industry and to North Carolina and to this guild, uh, I've been welcomed with open arms and that means a lot. I'm really impressed with the level of organization and the thought behind the curation of the content. Um, even the rebranding of everything just totally takes it up and to a different level. Um, so it's pretty evident that there's been a lot of work and thought that's been put into making the next year's conference better than the last year. So hats off to the leadership. Awesome. And the fun question, if the guild were a superhero, which one would it be and why? Captain Marvel. Okay. She's a badass. <laughs> this is a badass conference. <laughs> Sweet. Anything else you want to say? Thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Amen.